Good morning, modern steaders. We went from fall to winter. <laughs> Feels like overnight. It's 15 degrees out this morning. Burr. I am so thankful for that wood stove and being able to warm by it and keep the house nice and warm. There's nothing like wood stove heat. Locked the goats up last night. I thought it was gonna get cold, but I didn't think it was gonna get this cold. So, I shut the door so the wind wouldn't get them. I don't think, I don't think they like me locking them up. I think they'll be able to come out whenever they want. Huh, girls? You ready for this cold weather? You look like you are. Well, I was like, no, it's too cold. I ain't going out. You hungry? Want breakfast? I knew winter was coming this week, but I didn't think it was gonna be getting this cold this week. Still got a few things I need to do to prepare for winter. New York City has got to get moved to its winter location. I want to relocate all the chicken tractors, pick up the field, make Andy and his girls a winter shelter. But to do all that, I need the Kubota to be running. And it was froze up yesterday. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to that video right here. So I am hoping today we can get the Kubota running. But first we gotta smoke the bacon. If we don't take care of that, we'll end up losing it. And that wouldn't be good. a hole right in the center. I got them some warm water this morning. I got you some nice warm water to warm yourself up with. Here. Did you finish all your chaff, hey Willow? Come on. Nope, there's nothing in that bucket. Go for it. Is that warm water good there, Blossom? That's good, huh? Yeah. Don't drink it too fast. Buttercup found this batch of warm water, huh? Is that good? Your turn, Willow. You want back in there, mister? You cold? Look at the frost on the cars. Coldest morning so far. Morning. Look at this cat. He's just like, oh, I got some tools, a chainsaw, and a ch some chainsaw chaps. It's a perfect place to take a nap. And then Pluto's jealous. Are you jealous of Figaro? Are you jealous? Huh? Are you jealous? You ready to go out and feed the chickens?
Where are you ladies? Come on, float out. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the chickens of New York City in New York City this morning and not let them out. Hopefully I can get the Kubota running and move New York City. Morning, Moose. Stay in there where it's warm. Yeah, stay in there, it's nice and warm. All right, not sure if this is the smartest thing to do, but we got a little space heater right here focusing on the fuel filter lines to hopefully get them defrosted. And we can get the Kubota running today. Move New York City. Need to get some apple wood cut up for the smoker this morning. Shortly after we cleared out this area with all the brush and growth, we had a windstorm come in and knock down these apple tree branches. So I figured, you know what? We'll save them so we can smoke our bacon with them. The goats are jealous. They want some bacon. All right, that'll be a good start. There. All right. Let's get some kindling split up. Get the fire going. And we'll go in and get all the bacon ready to come out. It's crazy, just from that little bit of heat, it's already melting the stovepipe. Alright, let's add some more wood in there. Get that fire going pretty good. Get a good bed of coals, and then we can put some apple wood on there. Oh yeah, it's looking good. He look cold. Yeah. <laughs> you are? You're crazy. I think we got the fire going good, so we can get in, go in the house and get the bacon ready. Then we can come back out, Libby's, and smoke it. Sound like a plan? Look at your cat. He's rolling around like it's he's on a beach. All right, we got our bacon out of the Ziploc bag that we're, that we've been brining for seven to eight days. We don't have enough bacon hooks, but you don't need the bacon hooks to do this. I'm going to just poke a hole through it, and then I'm using butcher's twine. I just need to be able to hang them in the smoker. I'll set this down over here for a minute. We're temperature wise, we're pretty good. We're a little high. We want to be below 150. Let's check and see. There we go. That's perfect. Put our apple wood on there.
Got some good, better coals going. Hope you guys can see that. Look at that. That'll be perfect. Olivia's out there with Pluto. They're trying to see if they can find Figaro. <sighs> That looks nice. Close it up for about an hour and we'll keep an eye on it. Did you find Figaro? Did you find Figaro? Not yet. Not yet. All right guys, let's see if we can get the tractor running now. Fingers crossed. If we can, we'll let it warm up for a while. And we got a few things we need to move. You guys want some warm water? Here we go. She, Olivia's all excited. She found Figaro. I don't know if you can see her down there. There she is with her cat. Look how thick. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Over there. Near the old chicken beans. Oh, you broke it? Cool beans. That's pretty thick. Well, half. That's probably half inch. That's about an inch thick. Yeah, so there's like this big puddle and I stomped on it. And then I got a huge piece and then I threw it so I got this piece. What? You're smashing ice. Is it fun? Yes. Awesome. Except my gloves turn up. Your gloves are wet. chance to mow again this season but that ain't happening winter's here I didn't even get a chance to clean off the mowing deck it's all frozen on there now ah.
I changed my mind on location of where I was going to put the top bar beehive for the winter. If I kept it here, I'd block the view of the goats from the house, so I stuck it on this side. The eaves are dripping. Must be warming up outside. Time to get the bait in the house. Just a nice, light, smoky smell to it. in place. It smells like bacon. It That's like good. Alright, so let's bag it up. I'm gonna get out one of the small bags. City tonight, so we'll let him out. I'll have to move him tomorrow. You guys want out or what? Yeah, let me out. My chicken's molten. She's an older one. She's actually starting to regrow the old, the new feathers. Here you move. She kind of jumps. You guys see the little chipmunk? There he goes. I guess I don't know if it's a chipmunk or a red squirrel. He's got an apple. It says, darn it, winter's here. I better collect what I can get. So we keep smelling skunk here at the homestead. I found out why. And Olivia wants me to show her. Oh, so it's not, wait, is it on the spot wall? It is. Oh. It's over oh. here. You can't see it that good right now because it's covered in snow. But right there, that white fur and black fur, that's one of the skunks I got. I guess he crawled over here and died. Go right there on the base of that cherry tree. See it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's frozen now, so now he's not smelling. Yay. Woohoo. He might stink come springtime, though. Yeah. Yesterday I wanted to get firewood to put in the house and that's when I couldn't get the Kubota running. And I noticed that the fuel system was froze up. So I changed the fuel filter out and put in some 911 diesel service in the fuel. Now we can get some wood for the basement. Did you see the Three deer down in the field. Gotta be quiet, they can hear us. Camera zoom's not going fast enough. Okay, Here it is. It's the last one going in the woods. See its butt. Mm -hmm. There was three of them. Oh. Now they're gone. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, there she goes. Oh, man. Don't go. No. The excavator's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh. No more. 
I edit my videos the next day, so sometimes it's like hindsight's twenty twenty. I can look back as I'm editing going, oh man, I should have done this, or I should have done that. Ah, I know everybody, most everybody here who's watching the video right now, all the way through, we appreciate it, we love you. You'll be back tomorrow watching another one of our videos. So you're going to go, yep, I know what he's talking about. There's some things I wish I had more time and I could have got done today because the weather changed. And I didn't get them done, but I'm so glad with what we got done yesterday and accomplished that we were able to get that all done. The excavator leaving is so bittersweet, but on the same token, today, I'm glad it's not in my yard. So I just want to thank you all for being here with us today. It means the world to us. We're so glad you watched the videos. We're glad we can share our journey with you. You guys inspire me to do more, and I hope that I inspire you to do more and we just need to stay positive, keep our chins up and just always be going, moving forward. Don't look back. There's no point in looking back and saying, man, I should have done this or I should have done that because that's just a waste of our time. It just gets us in a bad mood. Just look forward and say, man, look what we've accomplished. Look how far we've made it. Tomorrow, next year, it's going to be even better. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.